In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to get your data off a Samsung smartphone with a non-functional screen. Now one of the issues with that video is that the methods I demonstrated requires a working touchscreen in order to unlock the phone. And I got a lot of comments asking me what to do if the touchscreen doesn't work. Well the good news is that I've been experimenting and I've finally found a way to unlock the phone without a working touchscreen. But before I demonstrate, let me walk you through a couple of things that you are going to need if you want to take a backup of your photos, videos and your data from a Samsung phone with a completely non-functional touchscreen. So the first thing that you're going to need is a keyboard mouse combo. Something like this. This one is from Logitech and I think the model is K400 Plus and in place of a mouse it's got a touchpad built in but any keyboard mouse combo will do. The thing is, you'll need a keyboard and a mouse combo that connects to a single USB receiver because we've got only one USB type A port on our adapter. Which brings me to the second item. That is, you'll need one of these 3-in-1 USB type C to HDMI and USB A adapter. This is gonna allow you to connect the keyboard and mouse combo to your phone and also get a video signal out from the phone onto a monitor via HDMI. And these are fairly cheap and are easily available on Amazon. And obviously, you're also gonna need an HDMI cable, PC monitor with HDMI input, and yes, you can also use your TV for this, but for this video, let's stick to the monitor. And lastly, I'm gonna put a link to everything that I'm using in the video's description. Okay, so first I'm gonna demonstrate the concept and show you how this works using a phone with a working screen. And then I'm gonna show you how to unlock the phone that has a non-functional screen and finally take a backup. Let us first start by connecting the HDMI cable to the monitor and then to the adapter. Next, we're gonna plug in the keyboard mouse receiver into the adapter and finally plug the adapter into the USB-C port of the phone. And once you connect the phone to the adapter, you're gonna see a lock icon on the external monitor. Why, you may ask? Well, you see, the thing is, you're not gonna get any video output on the external screen unless you unlock the phone. And this is why we've got the keyboard connected. So to unlock, all you have to do is make sure to wake the phone up and then tap the space bar. And this will bring up the screen that allows you to enter your unlock pin or your password. So after entering the pin, the phone will unlock and you will be able to see the home screen on the external monitor. And you should be able to control the phone through the mouse. And if you've got a password, well then type in the password on the lock screen using the keyboard and there you go. And by the way, if you are wondering, this is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So now that you have an idea of what we are going to do, let's unlock the phone that has a non-functional screen. And for those who are curious, the phone with the broken screen is the Note 10 Plus. So upon plugging the Note 10 Plus in into the adapter, once again we get a screen with a lock icon. Now the unlock procedure is identical. So we will start by making sure that the phone is awake, then tap on the space bar to bring up the lock screen and then type in our unlock pin and there you go so you see how easy it is to unlock the phone with a completely non-functional screen so even though the touch screen isn't working we can now control the phone through the keyboard and the mouse also while unlocking your phone you might need to press the enter key to unlock and sometimes the phone will unlock by itself after you enter your PIN or the password. There's a setting on the phone that controls this, but yeah, keep that in mind while you are trying to unlock the phone. Now, depending on the setting on your phone, when you unlock, you might get a screen which says, Welcome to Samsung DeX, tap start on your phone. In this situation, on the external keyboard, Tap the down arrow key twice. The first tap selects the top area as you can see and the second tap is gonna select the start button. And all you have to do is press enter. This is gonna start Samsung DeX on the external monitor which you can now use to control your phone using the mouse. But we're not gonna use this because smart switch does not work in Samsung DeX. So we can go ahead and exit this and use the phone normally. 
Now unfortunately I cannot demonstrate this on the Note 10 Plus which has the broken screen because the welcome to Samsung DeX does not show up on this phone. Also, if you've got the auto launch option enabled for DeX, it's gonna start up automatically as soon as you unlock the phone when it is connected to the external monitor. In this case, to use the phone normally, you can go ahead and close it. You can also plug in a charger or a power bank into the USB-C port of the dongle. And this is gonna keep the defective phone charged, making file transfer much easier. Now, as for taking a backup, well, you've got two options. Number one, you can choose to transfer your media like photos, videos, and music onto a computer using Google QuickShare. Or you can choose to make an identical copy of your broken Samsung phone, which means transferring everything to another Samsung smartphone using an app called SmartSwitch. And this is gonna copy everything from your photos, videos, to contacts and even your messages. It basically creates an almost exact clone of your broken Samsung smartphone onto a new or an existing Samsung smartphone. Pretty awesome, right? Let me demonstrate both, starting with Smart Switch. So for this, you'll need another Samsung smartphone. For demonstration, I'm gonna use my old Note 9, which is still fully functional. And the Smart Switch app comes pre-installed on every Samsung smartphone. As you can see, I've done a factory reset. And the Smart Switch app is here inside the Samsung folder. But for some reason, if it's not there on your Samsung smartphone, what you want to do is head on into the Galaxy Store and download the app from here. Once you do, launch the app on both your Samsung smartphones. Now, on the recipient phone, we're going to tap Receive Data, then Galaxy, and then wireless because we're gonna transfer everything wirelessly. Now on the phone with the defective screen, we are gonna select send data and then click on wireless. And in a couple of seconds, you will see this prompt. So tap on connect and give the recipient phone couple of seconds to search for the data to transfer. Now the phone is going to give you an option to select which data to transfer. You'll get three options, but I would suggest selecting everything so that everything gets copied over from the defective phone onto the alternate smartphone. Now if you also want to transfer over the secure folder, then enter the pin that you use for the secure folder on the old phone. Then select the contents that you want to transfer over. So we're going to send over everything and lastly create a secure folder password. You'll need this to bring the secure folder data onto another phone. We're gonna type in password because it's only for transferring the data. So we're gonna make sure that it is set to everything and then tap on next. Now it's gonna ask you to copy over your Google account from the old device onto the new one, which we obviously want, so copy. Now you've gotta enter your pin, so do that. So there you go, the phone has copied over the Google and the Samsung account. Now it is copying over stuff from the defective phone onto this one. And this process is gonna take some time, so please be patient. For these two phones, it took about 15 to 20 minutes to transfer over 21 gigabyte worth of files. And after transferring everything, the phone is gonna start organizing the data it has transferred, which is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. And after the phone finishes organizing the data, you're going to see that the recipient phone looks almost identical to the one that you have transferred the data from, even down to the home screen. That is awesome, right? And it looks like it has copied over all of the apps from the other phone. Let's quickly take a look at the gallery and it looks like all of our photos and videos are here. Let us also quickly check Samsung Notes and yes, all of our notes have been copied over. So looks like Smart Switch has copied over everything from the defective phone onto this one, including our text messages which I cannot show because it contains the banking transactions. So yeah, this is one of the ways you can copy all your stuff over from a Samsung phone with a defective non-functional screen onto a working or a new Samsung smartphone. Now, as you all know, this method also copies over the contents of the secure folder from the defective phone onto this one. So to recover the contents, open the secure folder on the recipient phone, then type in your Samsung account password 
and once you do the phone is going to ask you to select the lock type which will be our unlock method for the secure folder we're going to set up a pin so after you set up a pin the phone is going to ask you for the password that you had typed on the defective phone while taking a backup so the recovery password was just password and once we enter this the phone is going to automatically start restoring the data of the secure folder now just for a comparison we can also open the secure folder on the defective phone and you're gonna see that the apps have already been recovered uh, by the way i'm not on tinder this is just for a demonstration and lastly in the gallery you can also see that the photos and videos have been transferred over so there you have it guys using this method you can recover all your data from a defective samsung smartphone onto a working one also if your monitor has a touch screen and accepts video signal via usb-c then after unlocking the phone through the method i've shown you you can plug the phone directly into the monitor via a single usb-c cable and you'll be able to control your phone straight from the monitor that is awesome right and if you're curious the monitor that i'm using is from viewsonic the model is td1655 now keep in mind that you will still need the adapter along with the keyboard and mouse combo to first unlock your phone. Why you may ask? Well, you see the thing is if your phone is locked which it most likely is then you're not gonna get any video signal out from the USB-C port nor the touchscreen is gonna work on the external monitor unless you unlock the phone using its own touchscreen or use an external keyboard. Also, if you have ended up restarting your phone, which you most likely have, then the biometrics like the fingerprint unlock is also not gonna work. So if the touchscreen isn't working, you're still gonna have to plug in a keyboard in order to unlock the phone, which is possible through this adapter. But once the phone is unlocked, we can plug it in into the USB-C monitor. Now, you may ask, why can't I connect the phone, which is by the way now unlocked, directly to the PC through USB and transfer over the files? Well, there's a catch. When you connect your phone to the PC for the first time, it's gonna show this prompt even if the phone is unlocked. And if the touchscreen isn't working, well, then you're not gonna be able to use the USB file transfer method. So this is why we are still gonna need the external monitor along with the keyboard and mouse. And we're gonna use Google's QuickShare. For this, you will need a computer which is running Windows 10 or 11, and it also must have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. If your PC has both of them, start by downloading the Google QuickShare application from the official Android website. I'll put a link to this in the video's description. Anywho, follow the instructions and install Google QuickShare on your computer. And there is no need to sign in into the Google account. This will work even if you are not signed in. And when you launch QuickShare, make sure that your PC is discoverable or else your phone might not be able to send files to your computer. So once you've got QuickShare configured and running on your computer, grab your phone and head on into the gallery. Here, select whatever you want to send over to your PC. Now, we want to send everything over to the PC, so we're going to select everything. And then tap on the share button and here, look for quick share. Once you've got quick share open on your phone, you will automatically see the name of your PC right over here. As you can see, there it is. So we can now tap on the device name and we should get a prompt on our computer, which we are gonna tap on accept. And that is it. Now the files are being transferred over to the PC completely wirelessly and you can see that it is fairly fast because it uses our local Wi-Fi network. And that is it. All of our photos and videos have been transferred over to the PC. And by default, QuickShare saves everything in the downloads folder. So we can head over into the downloads folder and you can see all of our photos and videos that used to be on the broken phone are now on the PC. So that's one way of transferring your photos and videos from a broken smartphone onto a PC. Now as for the other files, what you can do is head on into the Samsung file manager which should be inside the Samsung folder 
tap on internal storage and from here you can transfer entire folders using quick share so for example we can share the downloads folder so long press tap on share and select your computer from the nearby devices and this is going to send over the entire contents of the downloads folder which is on your smartphone straight to your pc completely wirelessly so yeah this is basically how you can transfer your precious photos videos and your data to a pc from a samsung phone with a completely non-functional screen and along with this i've also shown you how to clone your existing samsung phone onto a new or a working smartphone and i sincerely hope that this video was helpful in getting your precious data off a phone with a non-functional screen and if the video was helpful then hit the like button because that helps out a lot with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching videos like this one and guys if you have any suggestions you can always leave them in the comments below and i will be more than happy to reply and as always this is tech guy charlie signing off